paints a right hander with the ball, then the first thing I get them is that the position that they need to be in is, is with their left leg forward opposite the players throwing out. Not here, because here there's space here to be shot at, but here. And consequently, as the game evolves, all the best shooters are shooting here now, but that's another story. Now that's your first position. But as that player takes one step forward here, okay, our position then is to take one more step forward. And we normally put our hand through on this position here. And there's a lot of different techniques. Maybe Ricardo's got some different from Portugal. I know there's a you know, Eastern philosophy on it, Scandinavian. But you no, know, the best one I've seen, if you try to get it here, okay, there's a, a level of inaccuracy that can get you sent off if your arm comes through the top here. Because basically what you want to do, you have to keep this arm bent. You have to emphasize that. The rule says, as long as your arms are bent, you're doing nothing wrong. If my arm's here and here, then that's going to be a foul. But if it's here and it's bent, I can now keep his arm, because we talk about getting him to throw the ball from a high position a lot of the time. Now we want to lower the throwing position. That's just the only purpose there. The other arm comes here on the hip. Again, it's bent. And what we want to do now is now I can control his movement. If Pete wants to go, this is the side I want it to go down. That's why my, my left leg's forward, because I can always keep the ball on this side. I'm going to be completely knackered if he goes this way, because now everything is behind or from the side. Then that's when the punishments come in for he throws. They have to decide as a defensive player, can they get there as the ball arrives? Because if, you, if the ball's already there and you're on your way out, if I'm here, then I don't protect the space here, he can do what he wants, and I don't protect the space behind him, so the pivot player can do what he wants. If my timing is time with the ball, and the ball's passed and I'm in this position here, now I'm in a position where I can tackle him before he can gain any momentum. And it's important, now they have to decide if they're not going to get there, stay back because another defensive skill is blocking the ball. Don't open space behind you, protect the space and take the chance to, to shoot over and work with the goalkeeper. If you can, ideally if, if your coach or you as a player want to be a bit more aggressive, your timing is dependent on the ball. That's probably the next level once you know the basic technique. But you can't react until the ball moves. If I move too early, I open space up here before he gets the ball. If I move too late, he's already in movement while I'm trying to go forward. Chances are he's going to beat me in a one-on-one. -on -one. If I arrive at the same time as the ball, I can hear and I can control his movement. Now, it will be a foul, and that's what you have to explain to them. The whistle will go, and it'll be a foul. But like in rugby league, it's just a tackle, restart. No punishment to me. The referee doesn't even speak to me. But if I'm wrong side of him, and I push here, pull here, anything like that, it will range from yellow card, two minutes suspension, red card.